Hey everybody, this is Louie. Just wanted to give you an update of what's going on with my Eco Diesel. Uh, I've been uh, going through chemotherapy, so if you guys follow my page, you'll see that. And uh, I just wanted to give everybody an update on the, the Eco Diesel. Uh, here we are, I think it's the third week. We're in the third week without a truck or right out any vehicle. Well, I got my nephew's vehicle that he let me borrow. Uh, the insurance company won't give us a loaner. Chrysler won't give us a loaner. And the insurance company won't pay us, pay off the loan or pay the truck off, give us any money until they investigate more with Chrysler. So there's more investigations going on on how the fire started. But as of right now, we're still paying a payment on the truck and we don't have a truck to drive. So it's kind of a messed up situation for us to be in. Uh, I have doctor's appointments. I have lots of stuff that I, we need to be doing. I mean, uh, but we can't do it because we're stuck here borrowing people's trucks or cars to get places today it's snowing again today we're still stuck here you know I canceled a couple of doctor's appointments because just can't get there uh, it's probably not the best thing to do for my health but we have to do what we can to try to survive uh, I just want to let people know that if your truck does burn up you're probably going to be in the same situation I am in. And uh, I hope it doesn't happen to you. So get your truck into a dealership near you and get it fixed promptly. Uh, I'll keep you posted on what happens. I'm trying to share with this with everyone so no one gets hurt and everyone knows what to expect when their truck does go up in flames or if it does go up in flames. I hope... To God, nobody has to go through this because this is not a fun thing to go through. Uh, it gives me a little feeling when I get in the car now to, to go down the road. I, I, all I think about is it could catch on fire. It's not a good thing to be in, not a good place to be in. Uh, but this is helping me to uh, get out my frustrations and to try to help someone else in the situation or if they happen to be in this situation. We have reached out to Chrysler, uh, called them every day, my wife does, and trying to get through to them. Uh, they lose our paperwork every day, so we have to go through and do a whole new claim every day. So I don't know how long this is gonna take, probably months, maybe years, before we get anything settled. So I don't know if Geico is gonna just say, well, we're not going to pay and we're still paying a Geico for insurance. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to work. But stay tuned and I'll have more videos to come. Thanks for all your support. And please share my videos to help people get through this tough time with the eco diesels and or my tough time. And uh, hopefully anyone with an Eco Diesel gets it checked out and gets it fixed in a uh, timely fashion. Uh, I ain't got nothing else to say, folks. Just uh, God bless everyone. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. I mean, uh, share this video. It's about the best I can ask for. Uh, Got to get the word out there. So that no, everyone knows that this eco diesel recall is out there and it is real. Trucks are catching on fire. There is more than just mine that burned up. I just happened to have mine on a video to show people. Uh, I wish more people would videotape theirs burning up, but it's not always on the front of your mind. Uh, thank you a lot for watching. Uh, Louie out.